Hi fellow foodies and welcome back to another episode with me here on Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. In today's episode I'm sharing with you my puff pastry recipe which can also be used to make eclairs. So let's dive right into it. So pops are a very tasty recipe and this can also be used to make eclairs as well. So to begin I'm going to start by placing one cup of water to a saucepan over medium to high heat. Followed by 100 grams of butter or half stick of butter or a stick of butter in some cases. Next I'm adding some sugar and some salt. So we're going to bring this to a boil for about a minute or two. Make sure that the water and all the ingredients are properly mixed together. When it has come to a boil, you want to turn off the fire or remove the pot from the flame. And next, we're going to add the flour to the mixture. Be sure to take the flame off from under this pot. I'm going to mix this together until we have a nice smooth paste and the flour absorbs all the liquid. After mixing it together, we're going to put it back on the fire on a very low heat, stirring for about another minute or so, making sure you take out all lumps in the flour. Turn this until some of the moisture is sucked out from it and then we're going to turn it off, remove it from the fire and set it aside to cool a bit. Here I'm placing my mixture in my mixer. If you like, you could also use a food processor or you can do this by hand with a whisk. Just know if you're going to use the whisk, it, it will be a bit tough to turn. I'm using my mixer to help cool down the heat. When it's cooled down, I'm going to add our eggs one at a time. To check for the consistency of the flour, it should form a peak and the peak should just fold at the tip when your finger is separated from it. That way you know that your mixture is good. If it's too stiff, you can probably add half of an egg again. It depends on the size of your egg as well. I'm going to remove this mixture and place in a piping bag. Some of the mixture will need a baking sheet to keep the sheet in place and now I'm just going to be swirling my mixture onto the paper or my baking sheet. Okay so here now I'm swirling it onto my pan. I'm not perfect with my swirls, kudos to you if you are, but I think it looks cute enough. So here I'm placing my mixture onto my sheet and next I'm going to be using a cup of water, just tipping my finger in the water and pushing in the peaks. In that way, when it goes into the oven, the peak doesn't burn before a puffs are cooked. And place in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes of baking, we'd reduce the heat to 250 degrees and bake for a further 20 minutes. After our puffs are finished baking, you want to 
turn the oven off and open the oven door slightly to allow the puffs to cool down inside the oven before taking it out of the oven. In this way, you would prevent the puffs from sinking in the middle. Whilst I wait for my puffs to cool down, let me take you and show you what I found in my garden a few weeks ago. First, there were two little eggs and then, come see this. Eggs are hatched. There's mommy with her two birdies. How cute. Now by the time this video was finished, they all flew away. So okay, let's get back to our puffs. So I'm about to take my puffs out of the oven now. The temperature has dropped and our puffs are still standing. Next I'm going to be stuffing my puffs with some cheese paste that I made previously. If you're interested in seeing how I did my cheese paste recipe, I'm going to leave a link above. So our puffs are nice and fluffy. And here I have my cheese paste. I'm put that cheese paste in there and close it. I made a combination of cheese paste puff as well as tuna puffs. So. This is my recipe for my puffs. I do hope you like this recipe and enjoy it. Let me know what you think about this recipe and thank you once again for joining me on another episode of Lynn's Caribbean Kitchen. Bye bye.